Welcome to OnlyWebPrep.com. I am Skylar King. As always, you can see me on Twitter, at Skylar Prep. Hit us up on the message boards. Let us know what you're thinking. As we get to mid-season girls swimming here, St. Charles North invite this past week, which is, you know, when you look at the teams, they're one of the bigger invites of the year. You had Niqua, Hinsdale Central, Glumbrook South, Sandberg. And finally, this next weekend, I'm going to get to see New Trier live and in person for the first time at the Trevian Relays, where we'll have Fenwick, Hinsdale Central, and Niqua also. On Thursday... Went to Stevenson Mundelein. You know, to me, you saw a, a lot of talent out there, especially for Stevenson. You can see them putting together some some relays that could potentially get into that that bottom six. I was really impressed with Madison Blades in the 500. Early on, I thought she was going to be capable of putting together a really big time, but there was no one there to push her. And so, like you see a lot of the times in the 500, she shut it down and went, went 513. Still a very respectable time, considering there was no one else out there with her. Otherwise, Leah Bloodgood, 110 flat in the breaststroke, pretty nice time. Uh, one of the more impressive things, Madison Douglas, 201.50 in diving. Um, I heard some parents talking in the stands, said those are first time breaking 200, so heck of a showing for her. At the St. Charles North meet, I think seeing Glenbrook South for the first time, their medley showed up, broke the meet, and pool record, which was also broken by Nequa for the, so for the second straight week. Nequa broke a meet and pool record just to get beaten by Glenbrook South, Fenwick the week before. And Smoliga lived up to the hype, 24-1 in the 50, 56 in the backstroke, beating a field that included Gia Del Sandro, who's just been a wrecking crew this year. And, you know, you could tell that, that, that Nequa was tired. You know, they weren't, they weren't swimming near their best times, and that to me is, the, is where you see who has the best depth. When you're not swimming your best, but you can still win an invite that includes a really tough field. And it was a nail-biter. It was six or eight points over Hinsdale Central. So it'll be interesting to see them go head-to-head again this weekend. But Niqua undefeated in invites this year. It's time for the reality check for everyone that's, that's coming to New Trier the, on the 15th. The Trevians, in what surprisingly is their only invite of the year, they're going to be ready to go. They, there's, there's just an emotional high that they get on to defend their home pool in a state-like setting with all those heats. You know, that's, that's what sectionals and state is about. A couple of different heats with a lot of good swimmers and performing at a high level, protecting their house. And Samantha James and company have so much depth. And when you talk about only, only getting to put two people in an event, that's almost it's almost a handicap for them because their their second, third, even fourth person in a lot of events is so good and could make so many other lineups. And I think that's what you're going to see on display this Saturday. Nutriers is going to bring the Ray game, and we're going to see if anyone can answer the call. It's going to be those individual races with Nutrier. What can Fenwick's relays do? What can Nequa's relays do? What can Dale Sandro do? What can you know Kaminsky and and Wickham and company do to, you know, potentially knock off New Trier. I, I think it'd be uh, very interesting if we get maybe a Mimi Schneider, Samantha James showdown in 100 free, which they both swam in state last year, or even 100 butterfly, which James has swum a couple times and Schneider has the best time in the state in. And so those are some things that I'll be looking for this Saturday. Uh, also on Thursday, I believe I'm heading up to – Lake Forest. I think St- I'll see Stevenson again. I think it's Stevenson at Lake Forest. You get to see Rachel Starr for the first time, who is my senior swimmer of the year pick. So excited for that. And again, hit up those message boards. Let me know if you've seen any big time performances. And, you know, because that's what it's all about. We're getting to that time of the year. Conference is just around the corner. Starting to round everybody into form, pick out your sectional lineups. And s- sooner or later, you know, we're going to be at that state meet for all the marbles and everyone trying to make their run for top six, top 12 in what might be the fastest girl state meet in Illinois history. So until next time, again, at Skyler I Prep, hit us up on Facebook, hit those message boards, and we'll see you back here at IllinoisPrep.com talking girl swimming.